Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I got Salon Perfect Ashes to Ashes, Dust to Dust, and I'm going to stamp on it. We're going to jump into this Manny Already in Progress. I have done my regular base coat, my Nail Ticks Formula 2, and here I am applying my first coat of, I can't remember which one this is, because see my video got eight, it, it ate up the bottles Ashes to Ashes and Dust to Dust. Um... If I figure it out, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> so I am putting the black linear hollow on three of my nails. And then the scattered chunky thick hollow on my ring finger and my thumb. I just thought these would pair together quite nicely. And as you can see, that first coat of the glitter bomb is a little patchy. But you expect that when they're, you know chunky and thick like that. Um, I didn't want to build this one up and get it too thick on the nail, but I wanted full coverage. So there we go with our first coat of that. Look at that thumb. Woo! bling delicious. Hi Woody, how you doing? So here we go. We're going to go in with our second coat of everything. This is a beautiful hollow that you can buy at the store. How awesome is that? I'm telling you. And as these linear hollows dry down, that's when you start getting to see the rainbow. So hopefully you'll get to see that at some point. So, oh, look at that. It's just, it's just glittering and twinkling everywhere. I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There was a day where you had to get online and go buy indies to get polishes like this. Such a happy day that you can walk up in a store like Walmart and get them. Woody's back. He needed some more airtime. Of course, you know I got glitter out, so he's going to be here. See? Look at that. <laughs> Super happy. I'm going to top this with some posh top coat and get it to dry down so that we can do the nail art portion of this video. Capping that free edge helps make that last longer. And I am going over the glitter bomb over there with the posh as well. It's not terribly bumpy. I think the posh was just fine. I did not break out the Jealous from American Classics on this one this time. I think I did end up adding another layer of top coat though after I did the stamping. I'm going to be using BMXL208, my Maniology Stamper, Nicole Diary Silver, and it's NS04, and my Beauty Big Bang Scraper. Here we go. I just picked an image, and it's kind of like a drippy chandelier, kind of. I don't know. It reminds me of a chandelier, like little bobbles that hang off of a chandelier. And I'm going to put that on the linear nails, on the linear hollow nails. I just wanted something else, but I didn't want to go too crazy and cover everything up. She can be taught. <laughs> I really do like this image, though. I think it's really cute, and I've never used it before. So here's to first. I've got a little bit extra paint left on my scraper, so I'm just going to run that across for this last image works great and it helps save polish so I'm all over that very nice lovely so I'm gonna clean up with some tape and today this is coming up really well I really like it when that happens that way makes me happy <laughs> but I am gonna go in with that little cleanup brush you see just a little bit just a touch I'll be topping it with the smudge free top coat from Bundle Monster. And we're going to do that so that it doesn't smear. It really does what it says it does. And then I'm going to top it with some posh top coat to seal it all in and to give it that big, fat, glossy look. I like that. I'm a glossy girl. Capping that free edge again. Look how 
Hello, licious. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.